There are a lot of great videos out there that give you very detailed tours of the Absolute Nevada 52. This one is intended just to be a very quick overview of the boat that we have that we call Sulaqua. We'll start with the flybridge and walking you through the different rooms. We'll take you down to the main level and we'll end it down in the lower level of the boat. I hope you enjoy. We were first attracted to this boat because of the functionality of it. It's a very practical boat with so many different seating areas. Particularly nice when we have a lot of guests. Various areas to hang out. The visibility from the boat is spectacular with the big windows. Well, let's start the tour from the top down. We'll start with the flybridge. To reach the flybridge, we start from the cockpit on the port side. You can see there's some stairs here, two great handrails. It's teak stairs, so it's not slippery. When you get up here, it's got a kitchenette area. I have the lid open to show you the grill and the sink. It also has an ice maker. You can never have too much ice. Also has a little refrigerated cooler area. So we keep water in there. It also has a refrigerator. As you can see, we keep that fully stocked. It's because we do a lot of entertaining up here. This is our primary hangout space if the weather is nice. Nice big aft area of the flybridge. Great visibility, you can walk around easily up here. One of the things when we had our last boat is we had a soft top bimini cover and it got destroyed in one of the storms that came through Milwaukee. So when we bought this new boat, we knew that we wanted to have a hard top. However, there were features of the soft top bimini that we really enjoyed too, which was the ability to have it open. Well, as you can see here, this boat actually has the best of both worlds going on. It's an electrically actuated open and close feature to give us essentially a, a sunroof. And while we're up here, you can take a look at the FLUR. FLUR is our night vision camera, completely visible from the helms down on the displays. It's controlled by Garmin. And you can see here is our Garmin radar, horn, GPS antenna at the very top is our weather station. This boat has two helms, one up here on the flybridge that has all the full controls, including two Garmin 12-inch displays. You can see the antenna there for the satellite system. The view from up here is just spectacular. It's one of my favorite places to be when we're on the boat, particularly underway. And back here on the flybridge, we just absolutely love this area to kick back, relax, sit have a, a drink or a morning coffee take in the great view these two chairs have been a great addition to the boat let's go ahead and head down to the main level now we'll start in the galley also known as the kitchen one neat thing about this room is it has this button you can push and electronically lowers this window here and with the flip of this little lid we have a nice pass through from the galley to the cockpit area. If we open these doors up all the way, and there's two sets of them here, we really end up with a beautifully big open access to the cockpit area from inside the boat. In the galley here, it has all the creature comforts you'd expect from a kitchen. And that being there is a freezer. We stock it full of ice and refrigerator. Here we're completely stocked because we're about to go on a big trip. We even have a dishwasher. Four burner stove, sink, convection oven. Across from there is the control area for the AC and DC electrical components. As we step up, we're into the salon. 
And it has this big table that can fold in half and be a small table. It can also swivel down and become a coffee table, which is handy when you're watching TV. It has a pretty large TV in here. And as we approach the main helm, you can see there are 16 inch Garmin displays here, but all the same controls from above. Has also this two person helm seat. The side access door is really super nice. Gives us the ability to step out, communicate with anybody outside if we need to. And the visibility in here, as you can see, I'll pan around here. You can see from the helm, trying to drive this boat from inside is so much easier because of the full 360 degree view. This is a biggest selling feature to us for this boat. We'll step outside here and you can see how tall the sides are here. And with the overhang, you really end up feeling totally protected from either rain or heavy seas. You don't feel like you're at risk of falling overboard. Out front here, we have two essential seating areas and access to the anchor system. The seating areas are comprised of a kind of a lounge area and then a settee area. And you can see there, it's can, you can see three comfortably. There's speakers above. You're under a little bit of shelter with it as well, which is handy. And there's radio controllers, so you can play the music while you're sitting out here. You could be lying out. There's three people who can sit out here and get some sun. And as we come back down on the starboard side, you can see that here's that door that we came through from the main helm inside. And look at the glass. You can just see the windows are just massive. And again, the overhang and the railing just make you feel really secure. Now we're coming back into what's called the cockpit area of the boat. Another great seating area. Sit out here to have food, uh, drinks, whatever it may be. And it's even got this nice electrically actuated shade it will go down and it's handy when we're having too much sun, too much uh, light wind, or we're sterned in at a slip at a marina and we want to protect people from being able to just look into our boat. Let's transition now to the lower level. Three main areas. One would be down here in the cabin space inside the boat. From that, we're by the main helm coming forward to the bow of the boat. And that's where the VIP room is. It's a guest room that has a queen size bed that you can walk all the way around, it has a television, lots of windows, uh, two portholes to let air in. And it even has its own private bathroom with a full stand up shower in it. Just outside there is uh, on the starboard side of the boat, is the, I call this the twins room because it has twin beds in it. It also has some port windows, two of them to let fresh air in and light in, has a closet, pocket doors. And when we come around the main area here is the owner's suite. And in here we have a washer dryer combo unit. Another full bath with full size shower. And this room, this state's room is full berth, meaning it's the full 15 feet wide, has a big queen size bed in it, TV, desk area, closet, a lot of storage. It's very private. Here's another access door to that bathroom I mentioned earlier. This is when you want to use that bathroom as a day head. We'll head aft now to the stern of the boat. As you can see, we're hooked up to shore power. There's two electrical cords there, each 50 amps and a water hose. There's even a shower handle right there. So you could shower off from the water. We have a camera out here as a backup camera. Helps display on the garments when I'm at the helm and navigating. Handy dandy little storage area here for my cleaning supplies. And this is a watertight door 
to the crew cabin. It's officially the crew cabin because it is a bedroom with a bathroom, but we use it as a lazarette. But as a bedroom, that wood thing there would flip down and be a mattress on it, and you could sleep down in here. But as I said, we use it as a lazarette. So we have folding bikes down here. Uh, we got at Costco, they're little electric bikes. Some other tools. And a bathroom. This bathroom is handy if you were out swimming and you wanted to run in real quick, um, use the bathroom. You wouldn't have to walk through the entire boat. You could just use the one down here. There's plenty of shades to pull down for privacy. It's kind of a fun view from inside here. I mean, there are windows here, so you get some interesting angles to the outside. It's got storage. A little closet here I use for, of course, tools and supplies. And then there is the magic door to where it all happens. The watertight door that opens up to the engine room. And we're greeted right there with the Cummins Onan 17.5 kilowatt generator. Produces 230 volts at 50 hertz. It also has two Volvo Penta T6 IPS 650s. 480 horsepower each, so a combined 960 horsepower diesel engines. This boat has pods, so different than what you might expect with typical boats having a shaft with propellers on it. This instead has these pods that extend down from below where I'm showing you that have motors that will rotate 360 degrees with forward facing propellers. This is the Glendinning. This is the system that coils the uh, electrical cables. Lots of electrical stuff in here. Forward here is the Sea Keeper 6 gyro stabilizer that keeps the boat from rocking sideways. Lots of batteries. Fire suppression system. That's one of our two diesel tanks. Has a combined total storage of 528 gallons of fuel. That's the chiller for the air conditioning system. Behind that is the inverter creating 2500 watts. 230 volts at 50 Hertz. Each time I take the boat out, I make sure that I check the strainers. That's a sea strainer for the sea keeper there. Basically it's bringing raw water in from outside to cool it. And these are filters that help catch any debris that comes in from the outside. I have to clean those out so that it doesn't clog up the boat. It also has them on the engine. As you can see here is one. The other engine has one as well. These are some of my pre-checks I have to do. There's yet another one here for the air conditioning system. You can see this one's actually running right now. These are critical to prevent the boat from overheating. This boat has two black water tanks and the fresh water tank is about 158 gallons. There's a whole lot to know and manage down here. Now out here on the swim platform, this thing is hydraulically actuated. I can lower it down in the water with the push of a button. It goes quite deep. And this is both a swim platform as well as a platform for storing our dinghy when we're underway. What's nice is this thing will go so low, and you can see there's even steps there that uh, reveal themselves. This will go so low that I can pull the dinghy, which you can see here on this, I have a little dry dock here for that, but I pull the dinghy off of that. I can pull it right over the swim platform and then lift it back up and strap it down and we're good to go. A lot of times we'll put this thing about an inch into the water with some chairs on it and use it as a teak beach.